congratulations on your new Apollo Solo. In this video, we'll cover how to set up your new interface, including downloading and installing the UAD software, registering your Apollo to your account, and configuring Windows settings. To get started, connect your Apollo Solo to a Thunderbolt 3 port on your computer using a Thunderbolt 3 compatible USB-C cable. The term USB-C refers to the shape of the connector used by these cables, while Thunderbolt 3 refers to the way that the Apollo Solo communicates with the computer. Not all USB-C ports support Thunderbolt 3. If you're unsure whether the USB-C ports on your computer support Thunderbolt 3, look for the Thunderbolt icon next to the port or check the specifications listed on the computer manufacturer's website. Similarly, not all USB-C cables support Thunderbolt 3 so be sure to check compatibility before purchasing any cables for your Apollo Solo. Look for the Thunderbolt icon printed on the connector, or check the specifications listed on the cable manufacturer's website. Beware of USB-C charging cables and cables that only support USB 3 or 3.1. These cables look similar to the Thunderbolt 3 versions, however they do not have the Thunderbolt icon printed on the connector and will not work with Apollo Solo. Both active and passive Thunderbolt 3 compatible USB-C cables can be used, with no differences in performance between either type of cable. Check out the cable guide at help.uaudio.com for more info about cable compatibility. When you connect Apollo Solo to your computer for the first time, you'll see a message appear in the bottom right corner of your screen that says a new Thunderbolt device has been connected. Click on the message and select Always Connect from the drop-down menu in the window that appears to allow Apollo Solo to connect to your computer. Now you're ready to download and install the UAD software. The UAD software download contains all drivers and plugin files that you'll need to use your Apollo Solo and UAD plugins, as well as two applications. The UAD meter and control panel, which is used to manage UAD plugin authorizations and system settings. And console which is used to access Apollo Solo's real-time UAD processing and monitoring features. Go to uaudio.com forward slash downloads to get the latest version of the UAD software. You'll need to log in to your UA account to download the software. If you don't have a UA account yet, click the Create an Account link to set one up. Creating an account is free and is required to register your Apollo Solo and claim your included UAD plugins. Once the download has finished, locate the file in your Downloads folder and unzip it by right-clicking and selecting Extract All. Double-click on the UAD installer once the files have been extracted. Continue by following the on-screen instructions until you reach the last page of the installer, then click the Restart button to reboot your computer and complete the installation. Make sure that the Apollo Solo remains powered on and connected to your computer during this process. After restarting, your web browser will launch and connect to the UA website to complete registration and claim your included UAD plugins. When you're finished, the next step is to authorize your plugins using the UAD Meter and Control Panel application. Click the blue UAD2 button to open the Plugins panel. Then click the Authorize Plugins button to authorize your UAD plugins. UAD plugin authorizations are stored on your Apollo Solo, so you can access your plugins from any compatible system that has the UAD software installed, as long as the Apollo Solo is connected. Now that your Apollo Solo is registered and your UAD plugins are authorized, let's take a look at how to configure Windows to ensure that you get the best possible performance from your new interface. First, make sure Windows is up to date by opening the Settings panel from the Start menu, clicking on Update and Security, and installing any available updates. This will ensure that your system has the latest Windows fixes and improvements. Next, make sure the Thunderbolt drivers and software on your system are up to date by installing the latest versions from the computer manufacturer's website. This process may vary slightly by manufacturer, but you can generally find the latest drivers by looking up your computer or motherboard model on the manufacturer's website and navigating to the Support or Download section. Thunderbolt updates are typically found under the Chipset category. Download and install any available Thunderbolt updates listed for your system, including drivers, firmware, and software. Once your Thunderbolt drivers and software are up to date, the next step is to disable Windows notification sounds to prevent them from interfering with audio from your DAW application. Find the Windows Control Panel by opening the Start menu or search box and typing Control Panel, then press the Enter key to open it. Click on Sound to open the Sound window. 
Click the Sounds tab and use the Sound Scheme menu to select No Sounds, then click Apply to save the setting. Back in the Sound window, go to the Playback tab and double-click on Universal Audio Thunderbolt to open the Properties window. This is where you can adjust Windows sound settings relating to your Apollo Solo. On the Advanced tab, you can set the sample rate that Windows will use to play system sound through the Apollo. Note that if you change the Apollo sample rate via console or your DAW application, you'll need to set the Windows sample rate to the same setting using the menu on this page. This prevents system sound from being interrupted or played back at the wrong speed. Finally, the last step is to configure Windows power management settings to prevent Windows from throttling CPU speeds to save power, which can cause audio artifacts such as pops and clicks as well as decreased system performance. To configure these settings, go back to the control panel and click on Power Options. Start by selecting the High Performance option. If you don't see it right away, click the arrow next to Show Additional Plans to expose it. Once the plan is selected, click Change Plan Settings, then click Change Advanced Power Settings on the next page. In the new window that appears, locate Processor Power Management and click the plus sign to expand the category. Set the minimum processor state to 100%. This ensures that your CPU is always capable of operating at its full speed so that you get the best possible performance from your system when using Apollo Solo with a DAW application. Click Apply to save the changes when you're finished. For written directions and additional optimizations, check out the Configuring Windows for Thunderbolt guide at help.uaudio.com. Windows is now configured and you're ready to start making music with your Apollo Solo. Check out our other videos for help configuring your DAW using the console application and more.